You want to talk plants? Early July. Here, together with Prairie Blazing Star, Liatris pycnostachia, plant family Asteraceae or Asteraceae. Cousins, other blazing stars, members of the Liatris or Liatris plant genus. Pycnostachia, it's Greek for crowded referring to their very dense flowering heads. Prairie blazing star is native to the tall grass prairies in central United States. Growing in open forests, meadows, prairies, along roadsides, railroads, and occasionally spring banks. A herbaceous perennial, prairie blazing star survives winter as underground storage structures. In this case, a quorum, someone similar to a bulb, but instead of the sheathing storage leaves like an onion bulb, in this case, it's an inflated storage stem. Leaves are long and linear, grass-like, increasingly smaller up the stem of the plant. An upright, clump-forming plant, reaching about 60 to 120 centimeters tall, and occasionally even taller. At the tips of the flowering plants, on top of somewhat rigid flower stalks, they put a display of head inflorescences arranged in a spike inflorescence of inflorescences. The individual head inflorescences have only the disc flowers. Plants in the Asteraceae plant family have flowers clustered in head inflorescences with ray flowers, petal-like and attracting pollinators, surrounding the disc flowers internally, which are the fertile and seed-producing flowers. In this case, the ray flowers are absent, so each head inflorescences has only disc flowers. Each individual such flowering head in this species has about five to eight florets, which is the fancy name for the flowers clustered in a head inflorescence. Another characteristic of the Asteraceae plant family is having all the bracts that usually subtend flowers clustered together at the base of these head inflorescences, looking somewhat like crowded sepals, but they are bracts, modified leaves that usually subtend all flowers. In this particular species, these overlapping bracts are pinkish, pointed, and reflexed, or bent backwards. A very similar species, Liatris spicata, has such bracts overlapping and tightly attached to the flowering head, like shingles on a roof with rounded tips. It blooms mid to late summer, location depending, and it has a rather long blooming time. Maturing flowers from the top down, taking a long time to mature a few of these florets at a time, offering pollinator food for months. Its leaves are food for the caterpillars of the Skinia sanguinea moth, and its seeds at the end of the blooming season are great bird food. Prairie Blazing Star, it's a relatively easy-growing, low-maintenance perennial, tolerant of poor dry soils, summer heat, drought, and humidity. It grows best in full sun and well-drained soils. Fall foliage and even the seed heads are attractive, adding color to a native prairie habitat. And if you can resist deadheading at the end of the season, its fruiting heads will offer bird food throughout the winter. You can start your own liatris patch from seeds or corms, or check out a native plant nursery near you. The underground corms form offsets, gradually forming a clump. And before you know it, 
you could have your own liatris patch. If you live in his native range of central United States, extending to the northeast and far south, you might consider this species to cheer up your summer and your pollinators. 